hundreds of people there still out of their homes as the floodwaters appear to hold steady. Channel 2's Samantha Batashkin visited some of the hardest hit neighborhoods and joins us live from Orange tonight. Sam? Well, right now, this is about as far as a regular car can get here down this residential street. Most of the people here have evacuated, and at this point, they're just hoping that the water doesn't continue rising. When she saw the National Guard going in and out of her neighborhood, Deborah Walker knew it wasn't a good sign. You would think it'd get, you would get some water, but not water like this. After evacuating on Monday, today she returned to her now flooded street to check on her home. You know, when you work hard for your stuff and then this kind of stuff happens, it's devastating. She says she's got about four to five inches of water, something she managed to never experience even in a hurricane. My house always been the one that escaped everything just about. So for me to see this here and this is like, I don't know how people do it. In Orange County alone, there are nearly 2,400 flooded structures. This is the only thing we was able to save. We have both conscious in the air. Christopher Chagua is trying to save whatever he can inside his home as the water seeps in. I mean, I'm fighting it. I'm trying to stay in and just do the best I can, trying to save as much as I can for my parents. So many people now trying to do the best they can with the little they have left. It's nothing you can do but uh, see what's going on in your house and see what you can save and can't save and move to the next level. And at this hour, I-10 near the Texas-Louisiana border remains closed. Textat says it will not reopen until the water recedes, which could be days. They say that, that after the water starts to recede, they'll have to check out the road and see if they need to make any repairs. In the meantime, if you're headed here from Houston, you'll need to take the alternative I-20 route. Reporting live from Orange, Samantha Batashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News. Samantha, thank